All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you brought your uh, barf bags with you today because this is going to get ugly. Here is my uh, top 10 least favorite fatalities in Mortal Kombat. A uh, little spoiler alert here for you. Uh, if you're thinking number one is going to be Liu Kang's for Mortal Kombat 1, then think again <laughs> because I don't even consider that a fatality. That's more like a finisher. And unless he's performing it in, on the uh, the pit stage in Mortal Kombat 1, then like I said, I don't uh, I don't count that. So, that being said, let's get right into it. Uh, number 10 on my list. None other than Liu Kang. Now, the reason for this, and I mean everyone watching right now knows it's not going to be the dragon. The reason for this is because his fatality in the first one, finisher in the first one, was, uh, you know, was not well received. So the fact that they decided to include it in this version, and it doesn't knock you into the pit or anything, it basically just uh, makes the screen turn dark, and the uh, motion to do it. Motion to do it as a counterclockwise rotation on the uh, controller instead of the regular clockwise. That's just lazy. And for that reason, that takes number 10. Now, the truth is, the majority of these uh, fatalities that I don't like are from Ultimate MK3 or regular MK3. Uh, in my opinion, they were very... Um, I don't know. A lot of them just seemed really lazy to me. And so, uh, that being said, we're going to get into uh, my number nine least favorite uh, fatality in these, the four Mortal Kombat, sorry, the three Mortal Kombat games. This one coming to you. From none other than Jade. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Uh, choose another character so that we can get through them fairly quickly and the video isn't uh, too long so number th nine on my uh, on my list comes from Jade Jade has one cool fatality in this but this one I don't know so up up down forward high punch number nine I don't know. I don't know. I know it's original. It's not horrible by any means, but it's definitely not one of the better ones. Um, that being said, number eight on my list, we're going to go back to Mortal Kombat 2. Now, how can there be any bad fatalities in Mortal Kombat 2? It was so great, right? In my opinion, I'm, I'm, it's my favorite game of all time. But this fatality is just silly. That doesn't mean it's bad, but it's definitely not one of the better fatalities. So you're thinking Johnny Cage has two fatalities. Which one could it possibly be? Well, I'll show you. To perform this fatality, it's forward, forward, down, up. But then you hold down on block, low punch, and high kick, sorry, and low kick after. That being said, three heads. These characters don't have three heads. <laughs> so, while it's not horrible, it still looks cool. It is one of their uh, more silly, like it. In, in, in MK2 especially, it was so dark. The voice um, of Shao Kahn as the announcer, everything was so dark and cool. So that fatality, while it's not horrible, I don't consider it to be one of the uh, better ones. So that was number eight on my list. Uh, number seven is coming to you again from Ultimate MK3. Uh, this one is coming to you from... I will show you in one second. This one is Katana. Marina. 
I'm just putting in the code to give the uh, second player a quarter power, just so I can get through these fairly quickly. Uh, this one, again, it's just... Uh, so many of the fatalities in this one are lazy. But anyways, to do this one, it's run, run, block, block, low kick. Enjoy. No thanks. <laughs> Alright, so Katana's Kiss of Death in part two, when she kisses you and your uh, body grows up like a balloon and then explodes, I thought that was cool. So when she had that kiss in this one, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome. The first time I saw it, though, and the body just stretches out like Laffy Taffy or something, I was like, eh, no, no, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work for me. So... Anyways, that's my uh, number seven least favorite. Uh, coming in at uh, number six, I'm just going to keep it on here. My number six least favorite comes to you, Shiva. Now, her other fatality is one of my favorites. I think it's awesome. It looks cool. It's, uh, it's very original. But again, this fatality... I don't know. The animation is lazy. Forward, down, down, forward, low punch. Let's see if I can do it. She knocks you, knocks you into the ground like a stake, which I think it's dumb. Every time I see it, I cringe. So. All right, that is uh, my sixth least favorite. We're gonna head back to Mortal Kombat 2 for uh, my fifth least favorite. Now, this fatality, there, there's a reason I, I don't like it that much. You know it's not the one where he slices you in half. The reason this fatality bothers me <laughs> and I don't like it. It's for one reason. For one, I mean, like, people getting their heads knocked off in this game is pretty common, so that's fine. But this one in particular ticks me off because anytime I try doing it in the arcade, I can never get the timing down right. Now watch, I get the timing right now on this one. <laughs> but I couldn't get the timing right, so that being said, it was never a fatality because I couldn't pull it off. And I got it. <laughs> I knew I would. I knew I jinxed myself by saying that. So that was my least favorite because I can, like, my fifth least favorite because I can never pull it off in the arcade. So I did there. It's not bad, but again, it's just head coming off with a simple move, kind of like the uh, the uppercut knocking the head off. It's just like a regular move in the game that everybody can do. They uppercut and then they just add the animation of the head coming off. It's kind of lazy in my opinion, but. Anyways, I performed it there, but it is still number five on my list. So, number four, we are going to go back to uh, Ultimate MK3. And uh, this one is coming to you from none other than, once again, Kung Lao. So I don't know if you remember his fatalities in this. But uh, anyways, to do this one, it is uh, forward, forward, back down, high punch. Forward, forward, back down, high punch. Stand close. Hopefully you never have to do this. I think forward, forward, back down, high punch. Yeah. So forward, forward, back down, high punch. That right there is why I dislike any fatality in this game where the arms are floating. Again, it's like they took a section of, of the screen and to me, it's just, it's lazy again. It's a, it's a dumb looking fatality in my opinion. And again, this is all my opinion. So you can agree, you can disagree. You can agree to disagree, whatever uh, the case, that's number four on my list. 
the uh, next um, the next fatality that I dislike, number three. Uh, there's a couple reasons that I dislike this one too, and this is coming to you from Reptile. Reptile. So Reptile's pretty cool in this game, actually. He's got a couple decent moves. His uh, force ball can be done quickly in this one. But uh, this fatality just looks silly to me. <laughs> So to do this one, it is a back, back, forward, down, block. Back, back, forward, down, block. His lizard face gets really big when he uh, bites the chunk of body. Um, the animation of that looks like something out of the mask with Jim Carrey. But it's the sections of body that he, he eats. Again, floating arms. They could have they could have worked around that. I'm sure there was a way. The the animation in this game was so fluid uh, for the characters, so when they threw that in. I was just like, they, they skimped on the fatalities, whereas they could have, you know, taken a couple of animations out perhaps and, and made it so that there were no floating arms and floating torsos and stuff. So that takes the cake for number three. So for number two, one character, but it's both of his fatalities. I think you can already guess what one of them is going to be, because this is number two. Okay. Number one might surprise you, but number two is both of Smoke's fatalities. Now, he's a decent character to use. He's great against the computer. He's great against uh, other opponents. A lot of people use him. He's one of the easiest characters to use, right? You do that, quick. But his fatalities are just ridiculous. And ridiculous to the point where it's it's stupid <laughs> so the first one up up forward down this is game over game over right you're not continuing because everyone's dead including you who are playing it so that one looks ridiculous it's easy to do but lame All right, his other fatality, which again, you hold block and run down, down, forward, up from, you know, uh, jumps distance away. I'm gonna tell you why I dislike this one. So again, with the fluid character animation in this, the opponent always goes from, you know, being dizzy to this look where they're just, they have their mouth completely stretched out, like they're not even, you know, human if they're human in the game. And then with the grenade going in and him blowing up, that part's pretty cool. But I think the thing I hate most about that uh, fatality is just the animation. There, there's nothing. It's, it's basically him moving. Or the or the, uh, the the woman moving, or or the uh, the opponent moving, and then they just it's like one solid frame, and it's just uh, you know the mouth wide open and everything, and then sticking the grenade in. It's it's upsetting. <laughs> so, anyways, last uh, but not least, my uh, least favorite fatality in the game, which I don't consider it to be a fatality. This might surprise you because I love this game so much, but my least favorite fatality in Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 is coming at you from Melina. So which one is it of the two? Well, you'll have to wait and see. Melina is a great uh, character to use against uh, another opponent, another... Uh, human opponent 
She's a lot of fun. She's quick. She's got good moves. This fatality, I do not even consider to be a fatality. And the motion for it, I'll tell you now, is forward, back, forward, low punch. Um, did she kill the opponent there? What was that? So that's my least favorite. So and you look at uh, Baraka, you know, for instance, he's got the uh, Blades of Fury or whatever. Tons of blood. Like, it looks painful. Melina, using your size on you to, to just kind of move your body up and then you fall off. That's not a fatality. I've never liked that fatality. I've never liked uh, doing it against anybody. I don't do it against anybody 99% of the time. So to me, there you have it. Number one, my least favorite, is Molina from Mortal Kombat 2. Forward, back, forward, low punch. Now that being said, I can't end it on that note. So let's watch quickly an awesome fatality that wasn't on my list for some of the best fatalities. But just to get that nasty taste out of our mouths now that we've watched some pretty horrible fatalities... Let's just finish off with one awesome, explosive fatality using none other than Raiden. Here we go. And I'm going to turn it up, just let you watch and enjoy. To do this fatality, you hold high punch for 10 seconds or 8 seconds, I believe, during the winning round. Is a glorious fatality. So here we go. Simply hold the button for the round for eight seconds, ten seconds. Let go when you win. I mean, if you win. And beautiful. All right. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day.